Hi guys, please like, share and subscribe and contact this number if you want full lectures of any CM or CS subjects. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing that I've got is called as the T distribution, which is basically related to a lot of distributions which have already which we have already studied. Okay, so first of all, what the T distribution looks like, the probability function looks somewhat like this. This is your x and this is your probability which is f x x okay so this is what your t distribution looks like and it has its mean at zero you would see that it's not skewed so it is very similar to normal okay it's not skewed and it is symmetric on both sides you can see you know the structure is very similar and uh, most of the probabilities are in the middle and uh, you know very few values which are small then what is the difference between the t distribution and the normal distribution okay so the distribution difference is that the normal distribution is more flatter at the top okay it's more flatter at the top and t distribution is more peaked at the top that's the difference between the two okay so this one is peaked it has a higher kurtosis. Uh, we have only studied three moments so far. Uh, the first one was expectation. The second one was uh, spread or uh, variance. And the third one was skewness. Okay. There's also a fourth moment which measures the peakedness of the data. Okay. So which data is more peaked. And that is called as kurtosis. So basically T distribution has a higher kurtosis as compared to the normal distribution. It is more peaked and that is the difference. Okay. If you talk about the PDF, uh, the PDF of the T distribution is nothing but it is the standard normal distribution divided by the root over chi square nu distribution upon nu. Okay, so standard normal divided by root of chi square nu by nu. Okay, that's your definition for the T distribution. So if you take the standard normal distribution and you divide it by, uh, you know, a chi square 8 distribution. Uh, that 2 divided by 8, it will give you T8 distribution. That's an example. So the only parameter here is the degrees of freedom, which is represented as a nu. Okay, nu, again the Greek letter. Okay, which we also had for the chi-square distribution. So that is how the T distribution works. Now for this, we don't have much of details. We don't have expectation and variances in the course. But what we do have here, is calculation of the probability so let's get into that so as for calculation of probabilities uh, you have got these three questions let's do them the first one says probability that t15 is less than 1.341 so luckily for the t distribution we have got the percentage points plotted in the tables like we did for the normal distribution now i have not discussed with you what exactly percentage points are so let's uh, discuss that first of all. So for that, I'll have to go to the table. So let's go to the table. So for the normal distribution, we had seen the probabilities which were given on page number 160. Now, what do I mean by probabilities? Probabilities were just less than probabilities or CDF values. So if I would check the value at 0.44, that means against X is less than 0.44, the probability is 0.67003. So the probability that x is less than 0.44 is 0.67003. It's the less than probability. Simple, this area is shaded as well, right? That's easy to understand. But if you'll see, there's also one more thing given for the normal distribution. That are the percentage points. This we haven't discussed. Okay. Probability is worth the less than probability. Percentage points are the greater than probability values. Okay. That are given here. And they are given at different percentages. Let's see how that works. So if I have got this P, which is the shaded region, this is the greater than probability. So the probability of being greater than X being greater than is this small X is P. Okay, so this is greater than probability. That should be clear. Now, if you see when P is equal to 50%, X is equal to zero, which is obvious. The probability that the value is greater than zero is just 50% because there are half of the values on the right of uh, zero, right? Then you have got the probability of being greater than 0 0.1257 is 
then the probability of being greater than 0.2533 is 40 percent so that is how it give it is given p is the probability and x is the value and these are all greater than probabilities that are given remember because she see the region on the right is shaded not the region on the left right so that's what that's something you must note now if you see for the t distribution probabilities are not given just the percentage points are so if you'll see here there are various values of p okay these are all greater than probabilities then you have got various values for nu which is the degrees of freedom and you have got the values of x which follows the t distribution with nu degrees of freedom okay now let's just see how do we solve the question so you have got probability that t15 is less than 1.341 right fair enough so in t15 i'll have to find uh, the uh, value 1.341 and uh, then that will give me the greater than probability here i need the less than probability so i'll have to adjust accordingly let's see how that works so let's go to that so if you'll see here in t15 uh, you have to find the value as 1.341 right this was the value 1.341 so you can see this is against 10 percent so now probability of being greater than 1.341 is 10 percent so probability of being less than 1.341 would be 90% so that's your answer for the first point it's just 90% 0.9 second find the value of alpha such that t8 is greater than alpha is equal to 0 0.01 so now it is saying that the probability of being greater than alpha t8 being greater than alpha is 0 0.01 so greater than 1% so I have to check the 1% percentage point and I have to find what is the value of x against it last question asked me the probability but here I am asked the value of being of of which being greater than the probability is 0 0.01 right so you have to check the value of x so 1% t8 right this value is 2.896 right? 2.896 that's your value so yeah this is 2.896 Finally, I've got a uh, probability that T24 is less than this negative value. So I've got a negative value here. Okay. So how will that work? See, if I'll find the probability of being less than minus 0 0.5314, since it is symmetric, it would be same as the probability of being greater than 5314, right? So I just have to find the probability that T24 is greater than 0 0.5314. And uh, that can be found out easily. Let's go for this. So 5314 I have to find in T24, right? So 24, uh, 5314 you will find right here 30 percent, right? This is the exact probability that we want. So it is 30 percent or it is equal to 0 0.3, right? One more important thing to note about the T distribution is that the limiting case of the T distribution is actually the normal distribution. Okay, if you have got limit nu tends to infinity t nu this is basically equal, equal to the standard normal distribution. So if the number of uh, degrees of freedom becomes sufficiently large okay or tends to infinity tending to infinity become, means that it uh, becomes a, a sufficiently large number then t distribution can be approximated through the normal distribution. So this limiting case is what you should remember that the normal distribution is only a limit of the t distribution where degrees of freedom tends to infinity and uh, if you think about it what happens here is that uh, as the degrees of freedom increases this uh, you know graph keeps on going flatter and flatter it becomes more and more flat you know. finally it looks somewhat like this the normal distribution right so that's something you should know so that's all on the t distribution okay so the next distribution that i've got here is called as the f distribution it is a ratio of two chi-square distributions divided by their degrees of freedom respectively so if i have f n1 comma n2 distribution it is just chi-square n1 upon n1 divided by chi-square n2 upon n2 right so that's your f distribution it is not a symmetric distribution that's one thing you should remember okay just like the chi-square distribution is not f is also not symmetric 
And one important thing to note here is f n two comma n one is just one upon f n one comma n two. And this fact we'll use a lot in future chapters in order to use this distribution for. Uh, it's used at a lot of places, just like the normal and the t distribution. This uh, distribution is also used in uh, confidence interval and hypothesis testing and all of those chapters, advanced chapters that we have to do. Okay, so this has a lot of applications, and we'll get back to this again. But this is a distribution that you should know. Okay, I'm just introducing it here. Right. Uh, apart from that, this is this definition is obvious because if n2 comma n1, the degrees of freedom reversed would just uh, make uh, the order of these reversed as well. So if n2 f n2 comma n1 will be chi square n2 by n2 upon chi square n1 by n1, right? So it's just the reciprocal of this. Okay, so that's obvious. And uh, now let's just see two probabilities related to it. So probability that f 5 comma 12 is less than 3.106. So how do I do this one? So if you see this one, uh, 5 comma 12. Remember the degrees of freedom. Okay. If you'll see the tables, you have got the f distribution somewhere here. Right. So it's here. Percentage points of again percentage points are given, and they are given on separate pages. Okay. Uh, first page is ten percent percentage points. Right. Then you have got the next one is five percent percentage points. Two and a half percent percentage points and one percent percentage point. What this simply means is the heading which is written, that's the value of p. That's the greater than probability. And then all the grids are given based on uh, new one and new two. That is the degrees of freedom. And all these values which are plotted are just values of x. Okay. So this is all you should know. Now, if you see, you have to check for five comma twelve, right? F five comma twelve. So if you'll see five comma twelve in this page, ten percent percentage point, you can see new one to be five. New two, you can see to be twelve, right? Uh, it's right here, two point three nine four. Okay, uh, two point three nine four. This is your value for the ten percent percentage point. Okay. Now, what is uh, it that I want? I want the value to be three point one zero six. The less than probability, I want to, uh, it to be less than. Uh, I want it to be three point one zero six. Here, the value is two point three nine four. Okay, which is smaller. So we'll go to the next page now. Again, I'll see five comma twelve. Five comma twelve. The value is three point one zero six. So I found my value. Now the greater than probability for it would be five percent. So the less than probability would be ninety five percent, right? So this is just equal to zero point nine five, right? Uh, next one is the value of alpha such that f seven comma four is uh, greater than alpha. Okay, so I have to find the value of alpha such that f uh, 7,4 is greater than alpha is equal to 0.01. Okay, so I have to check in 1% percent percentage point since this is greater than probability only that I'm looking for, and the degrees of freedom are 7 and 4. Okay, so 7 right here and 4 right here. Okay, so 14.98. That's the value. 1% percent percentage point. So alpha will be equal to 14.98. Right. So that's how you solve for these uh, probabilities. Let's see if we can see a few more questions. Okay, so you have got f nine comma ten here uh, is greater than three point double seven nine. Okay, this probability. Let's try to find it out. So yeah, so f nine comma ten, right? That was the value. Yeah, f nine comma ten is the value. So f nine comma ten and is greater than what is the value? Three point double seven nine. Three point double seven. Right. So one percent percentage point. You'll see the value. You'll realize it's greater. You need to go back. Okay. Right. Then you have got nine comma ten again here. Nine comma ten. Three point double seven nine. It's the value right here. Okay, so this is two and a half percent percentage point. So greater than probability just becomes zero point zero two five, right? That's your probability. Right. Next one is f twelve comma fourteen is less than three point eight. F twelve comma fourteen. 
okay so in uh, this two and a half percent let's check so v1 has to be 12 and v2 has to, uh, new one and uh, new two has to be 14 right and uh, that's 3.050 we wanted 3.8 So, yeah, 12 comma 14 is 3.8 here. So the greater than probability just becomes 1% and less than would become 99%. So 0 0.99 is your answer. Okay. Next is F 11 comma 8 is less than uh, 0.3392. Okay. 11 comma 8 it is. So new one you'll realize that you won't find 11 is in in any of these pages right new one see the values are uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 24 there's no 11 but in new two you can find uh, 11 easily so that's a problem with this question that you cannot do it directly because there's new one the first degree of freedom it's not available as 11 in the table so what you need to do is you can say that probability that f 11 comma 8 being less than 0 0.3392 is the equivalent of probability that 1 upon f 11 comma 8 is less than the reciprocal of this what would be the reciprocal of this this just becomes 2.9481 right and this can be written as probability that okay and when you reciprocal of course this sign changes right so sign would be greater than so f 8 comma 11 is greater than 2.9481 right that's what you want now let's try to find this so 0.9481 uh, what was the value 2.9481 11 comma 9 8 8 comma 11 so this I have to check 8 and this I have to check 11 it's uh, 3.664 here I believe now it's larger let's go to the previous page I think this should match so um, 8 and 11 2.948 2.948 okay this one matches so it, the 5% five, uh, 5 percentage point matches, that's why your answer is 0 0.05, okay? Very easy to do, nothing, no big deal about it. Now, this one, probability that f14,6 is less than p is equal to 0 0.01, find the value of p. Now, this one, if you'll see, uh, you need to find p here, okay? And this is 1% percent, uh, percentage point that is given. Okay, but uh, the thing is, that there is a problem with this as well. The problem is that less than probability 1% you cannot find. You can only find greater than probability 1%. Okay. So that you will face as a problem. So you need to reciprocate it. So it just becomes probability that f6, 14 is greater than 1 by p. Okay. Is equal to uh, 1%. So now this just becomes, uh, you can check 1% percentage point 6 comma 14, right? Uh, let's check that. So 6 comma 14, 1%, okay. 1%, uh, new one is 6, new 2 is 14. And uh, yeah, you've got 4.456 here, 6 comma 14, right? So 4.456 is the value right so let's just put it here so 1 upon p is equal to 4.456 right so p will be just 1 upon 1 uh, 1 upon 4.456 which is equal to 0 0.2244 So yeah, that's how you solve probabilities related to the F distribution as well. Now let's move on to the next thing.